prosecutors say a Boston police officer admitted that he secretly recorded a teenage girl in the shower. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Dedham tonight. Christina, some really troubling details coming out in court today. David, the charges are disturbing. We just got word the judge here reduced bail from $10,000 to $5,000, but the police officer is still behind bars and facing criminal charges. His attorney says for the first time in his life. Joe Martinez has been with the Boston Police Force for 13 years. A military veteran and a husband with a clean record now facing 15 serious charges related to child pornography. When confronted, the defendant admitted he had in fact set this, the camera up. When asked why he did so, the defendant replied, quote, I don't know. I have a problem. I have all these thoughts in my head. Martinez turned himself in to Norwood police after they say they got a hold of evidence from his iPhone. Five videos they say he had secretly taken of a teenage girl preparing to get in the shower. Also photoshopped images of pornographic images that had face cutouts of Martinez and the victim. Court papers show through an Amazon search, police identified spy camera equipment they found in a search warrant. Officer Martinez is very well liked and well regarded by his co-workers. He does his job very professionally. He said Martinez has been living out of his car since he was confronted with the accusations Wednesday. Police took the car to search it for evidence. He was in the Army for five and a half years in the infantry. He did two deployments, one in Afghanistan, one in Iraq. Uh, I think there's some things inside of him probably from that service that he's still dealing with. And that's the best I can tell you now. In Boston, Police Superintendent and Chief Gregory Long put out a statement saying the alleged behavior is disturbing. And the Boston Police Department, he says, holds its officers to the highest standard. Officer Martinez has been placed on leave. Hey, everyone. Today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians, but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now, when we think of police officers, we think of protectors, people who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities, exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability, thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty. It's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together to demand transparency and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant.